Hello, this is John Sims with the Advised Service Ability Engineering Team. In this video, I'll cover how to manually register using the Global Registration Tool, the IP Office IP500 V1 Core Unit, or the IP Office Application Server. And before we get started, first a few notables about this. Unlike the IP500 V2 chassis or the Server Edition, Registration cannot be initiated via the IP Office 8.1 or greater product itself using the built-in web manager. So for IP 500 V1 chassis and Avaya application server, we have to follow some simple manual steps in the global registration tool to register these units. And how to do this is we have to enter the required material codes. And you'll see a bold note there that registration of these systems is required for these systems to fall under IP Office Support Services, IPOSS. The material codes you see are listed there for your convenience. So let's get on with the GRT work here to register these systems. As you see, I'm heading to grt.avaya.com. I'll enter that as a URL. And then it prompts me for my SSO single sign-on login, which I'll submit. And then we're met with the landing page for GRT. And I'm going to select the first option there, which is Create New Registration, which I'll now click. And you'll see I'm going to enter my FL. And in my case, I have a test FL to use. I'm going to enter the FL and hit the Search button. And I'm going to play today as a business partner. So I'll select Business Partner and select OK. And instead of viewing an existing registration, I'm going to select New Registration option and click on that button for new registration. Now let this run real time. It pulls up the initial validation site contact validation screen. You see we have test account information there and it asks me to enter my phone number which I do and then I want to receive email notification and for the on-site contact this is where you could supply first name last name phone number and email of someone that you're working with on site in my case for this demonstration I'll say same as above then I will supply a cutover date which should be either today's date or a date in the future now this is where it gets tricky and why we're making this video instead of selecting IP Office 8.1 or greater which is what we did for previous 8.1 registrations using GRT we're going to select new install site so select new install site instead of the IP Office specific one and click Next. This means GRT is not expecting the use of an inventory file. So without the inventory file we have to enter the material codes manually. So I'll scroll down on this page and you see we list some material codes for your convenience. But the IP500 V1 material code is not often listed. Neither is the application server. So we'll scroll down to the bottom and I'll select manually add material code button at the bottom of the screen there. Let's see I'll move over and select that and that'll give us and it'll reload the page that'll give us a material code form. So I'll put in the material code for the core unit quantity of one you see it will auto populate the description because it matches on the material code for the IP500 control unit. Now the serial number is optional if you have the serial number at your ready you can enter it but it is not required to do so. So another notable is it will auto check but make sure you have select for registration checked. Now I'll click manually add another material code. It'll reload the page and it'll give us another line form to work with. So I'll add in the material code for the application server and you'll see it'll populate with the DL120G7 server description and again it is also selected for registration. Now remember you have the opportunity to add in more components cards, licensing, everything you want on your registration record. So it's time to click Submit and you'll see we have a confirmation that we're going to proceed with the registration and I'll select Yes to that and then we'll get final confirmation that the install base is submitted and you will receive a notification email. So we'll click OK to that and you'll be brought back to your registration list. Now you see I've been a busy boy. I have a lot of things here in the registration list for test purposes. Um, your list will probably look a little smaller unless you've had quite a bit of time here registering systems. Now you'll notice in my email 
I already have a GRT registration ID email and it's processed and you see in the email I have a registration ID that I can use as reference if I scroll down in this email you'll see how we direct you to support if you want to update or look at your existing registration link you can go back into GRT and go into that update link and select your registration ID and we also provide other helpful links here to help you with any kind of registration needs and this completes our demonstration thank you for your time today we welcome comments questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on twitter at avaya mentor for more details or related information please visit support.avaya.com thank you for choosing avaya